and the pain for the last year has come down right through my fingers. Let's just pray, Jesus, right now. God set her free. God needs his shoulders right now. We ask you for a miracle of her life. In the name of Jesus. Miracle now. God release that body. Free. Okay, raise your, raise your arms now quickly. How's that? Oh, not bad. I couldn't do it. Is it amazing? Couldn't do it before? No. Come on, a hand, everybody. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Isn't the gospel's amazing thing? Yeah. This world is, is dying for lack of a knowledge that there's a living God who loves them. Just do this, sorry, because we can't wait. Uh, Raise your arms again. Is that amazing? Yeah. yeah. It's a great talk. Now, so, how, how long has it been since you could raise your arms like that? Oh, about 20 years. Wow. Get excited, everybody. Come on. This is the gospel. Yes. Well, right now I want to beg you something. Is it amazing? You had a brace on. <laughs> yeah. How long? About probably 10 months. What was the brace there for? Oh, because I want to try to see my thumb. Where is it now? That's <laughs> cool. Hallelujah! Now, there's something that really disturbs me sometimes in churches. That I see a lot of Christians coming for themselves for healing. And they have sick neighbors and friends who they never even revived. You know, you know, the gospel is a good news for a lost world. I want to re encourage you, please. You might know friends. I don't care where they, they could live in a few hours away. I don't care. Two hours drive is nothing if you've got cancer or dying or, or, or incurable disease. It's nothing. You can, you, know, you can actually pay for an airfare and fly somewhere.